confiscated Nazi newsreel film showed 12-ton V-2 rocket bombs just after leaving their launching platforms. Reaching a speed of 3,000 miles an hour, the rocket climbs vertically for 60 miles before beginning its descent. It's been known to reach England five minutes after launching from the Netherlands over 200 miles away. Signal Corps films of the main testing grounds for V-2 rocket motors. Ordnance intelligence officers discovered this huge installation in a former sleep quarry about 20 miles southeast of Saalfeld, Germany. On 24th June, the motors in their special crates are prepared for Army ordnance tests in the presence of two scientists flown from the States to obtain data on the reaction engines. Normally, the V-2 gets its fuel from two large tanks, one containing about a thousand gallons of alcohol, the other the same amount of liquid oxygen. A turbine, driven by chemically produced superheated steam, drives the pump that forces the fuel into the combustion chamber. The mixture is ignited electrically by remote control and, burning violently, rushes out as a jet of very hot gases, creating a thrust of about 26 tons, which launches the 12-ton projectile. About one minute after launching, the fuel is cut off by radio control or automatic instruments. The point at which the fuel is cut off determines the range, for the longer it burns, the faster and farther the rocket travels. ordnance technical intelligence reports and data compiled by the British Air Ministry have made available a complete breakdown on V-2 construction and performance characteristics. While the Nazis made substantial claims as to the effectiveness of the stratospheric rocket bomb, Britain classified it as an ingenious weapon, but inaccurate and in its present state of doubtful military value. Another British weapon is the Flame ACAC unit. It was designed to be used against low-flying enemy planes, as well as to discourage glider and paratroop landings. 